Hey guys, and today in this video I'm gonna be testing the very cheap uh, VR box. I mean, that's the company name, but it's actually like VR glasses. And of course, it's to like, it's actually for your phone to put it in. That's why it's so cheap, it's like I bought it for $20. Uh, just to test like if it's useless or it's actually useful. Um, and I'm gonna be actually testing it on the GTA and I'm gonna be telling you my thoughts and uh, should you buy one or not. So yeah, I'm so excited and um, it's actually like this is actually gonna be my first time because I never tried this in my life. So I'm so excited and I can't wait to test it. So yeah, I'm ready. So this is the settings, like I have to lower the resolution. That's, that's how it should be. And yeah, let's try it. Okay, this is cool. Especially like in first person. I do have a feeling like I'm, I'm there. I mean, not so much, but it's a good, good experience. As you can see, I can do head movement. It's very good, especially up and down. It's very re responsive. I don't see much of a delay. It is a bit, a bit of a trouble with left and right. It's so cool. It's like I'm right next to the. Skyline GTR <laughs> Very cool So let's try to drive it <laughs> it, it is uh, responsive, like there's no delay input between mobile phone and PC And it's cool, I can look around Like it's very cool, like if I want to go left Right, like see What's on the right side? That's very cool. That would be good for racing, racing games. I just, I just wish it had a bit more responsive to this, because there is a bit of a lag. But I'm, I think it's because of my phone. My phone isn't, isn't that good. Let's try this. Okay, this, this is cool to look around. Okay, next thing that I'm gonna do is, of course, the plane. Oh, very cool. It would be cool, like, in a plane battle that you see your enemy just above you. That would be so awesome. Can you look behind? Oh, you can. So cool. But yeah, I think this is the button. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Wait, wait, wait. No! This is cool. I keep saying cool, but you have to try this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Even with $20 VR headset, you're able to experience this. I will try to, to play some missions. It, with VR to see how it goes. Like, is it any good? Like, can I aim? Can I? Am I gonna be been able to enjoy it? Oh, let's try to swim now. I hope I won't die. Oh God, the water is so dirty. <laughs> Wait, I'll go to the sea. Okay, this water is clean enough, so let's try. But apparently I can't dive with first person. I have to go like this and then dive. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Okay, this is amazing. It's like I'm really diving. <laughs> like I feel like I, I want to like, hold my breath. <laughs> Oh god, I... Wait, 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 I'm gonna die. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I already did. Damn it. Like, it's good if you find a good view. 
And you just stand there and you, you can move your head up and down, left and right. I'm in the helicopter, so I will go high up in the sky. Ooh, that's cool. And I'll try to fall with a parachute. Oh, this is awesome. Again, if only I had a sharper mobile phone, it would be even more awesome. It makes you a bit dizzy, <laughs> I'm honest. Oh god, <laughs> especially doing this. So I'll go in 3, 2, 1. Here we go! Wait, what happened? Oh god, no. Face palm. So yeah, after the testing, like, I was really, like, amazed and it's, it's a very nice experience. But however, like, you do need to have a good phone in order to have a sharp video and to the camera sensors, the gyroscope, or however you call it, uh, to be very good and precise, because if the phone isn't precise, it's gonna wiggle around and it will make you dizzy. I tried it on the LG K10 and actually that phone didn't have a good gyroscope. The screen was wiggling so much because it, it wasn't, wasn't precise. So it's kind of a risky move because if that gyroscope isn't precise, like it's, it's a bit like, it's kind of useless. Um, so, but if you go with the Samsung phone, like I, my phone is actually Samsung, it's not the latest one, it's like Grand Prime from 2014, but it has a very good sensor, um, so it's pretty much uh, as you saw in the video, like it's, it's, well, not really perfect, but it was like precise enough, like when I move my head that it's a very gentle move. Um, but if you have the latest iPhone and, or Samsung, or any other high-end phones, then it, it should be no problem. That's it for this video, and I hope you learned something from it. Bye!